Hey, it's Andrea. I just watched a video that um, it's interesting because I'm often, I, for years and years, I've been inspiring other people to make videos. And you know what? Everybody needs to be inspired sometimes. So I just watched this video. I will link it down below this video um, in the description uh, by a guy, random YouTube served it up guy, um, who's talking about encouraging other people to make videos as well. Um, he has a, I haven't even really looked at his whole channel, but he has a channel that's about, you know, editing videos and this and that. I don't actually do much editing on my videos, so I don't know how much I'll use his content other than this one video. But it was, a, the title was something like, um, why you should make video, especially if you're over 40, I think is what it was, something like that. And uh, it turns out that it was his very first um, video with his face, like just talking without a, any teleprompter, without any, you know, bells and whistles, just talking. And that's, that's the approach that I've taken with other people first. So you can do video page, video channels, video content without your face for sure. But one of the points that he made on his video, which I 100% subscribe to, it unless you're planning to build an empire of um, gadgets and widgets type of thing that doesn't like it's a brand, not not a um, not you selling, but a brand like a large company selling. Um, it's really important that somebody watching be able to attach who it is they're purchasing from to that. So I always encourage people to um, to use their face whenever possible. And you know, you won't like your voice, la la la. You won't. There's a lot of things you won't like, and it doesn't matter, <laughs> really, because you're not the one that's having to consume that. So um, you know, like right now, my voice is a little hoarse. I actually have had feedback from other people that the voice that I don't really. Uh, now, love listening to other people really really love listening to so you can't ever um, know what will s land with whom so we what we get to do is we just get to go out and be ourselves and over time especially when you're doing more and more of these talking head videos what do we call them uh, you become um, adept at not like I've already heard several ums for myself but you become adept at not having those, like it's just easier to do it. So I watched his video, You, I'll, again, I'll put the link below so you can see how, especially with the bloopers at the end of his video, how, t how tense he was and how uncomfortable he was. And this is after already having, yes, he has, I, I, I gather, a, you know, a fairly successful YouTube channel. And um, this is his stepping out. So you could do, you know, the other type first for, a couple of years or whatever if you were wanting to I just know this is a, a much faster path especially if you're not gonna be consistent the way that people think of consistency because I um, my the way that I'm built I'm not really built for scheduling so I'm gonna have to sh I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that without making myself crazy and still be sort of like in a consistent flow for people so they know what to expect anyway that's my own cross to bear and <clears throat> and sort out and um, yeah I think it's it's time to record ourselves so that the library gets built there has to be a library one of the things that he said that will not sit well with most of the people that I talk with and I, I know I have struggled with it myself over the years is um, you have to pick for the YouTube channels themselves you have to pick a, t a topic, like a general umbrella, to have the, you know, so that when people arrive, they're not getting random stuff and they know to come back. Like it, it makes for more regular visiting visitors and they know what to expect. They look forward to your content and so forth. If they don't know quite what they're going to get when they click on that YouTube notification or when they come back to your, your thing. It's just too much work. So it has to be um, like filing. Think of these YouTube channels as filing systems for the things that you like to talk about. So if there's more than one thing, have more than one channel. I'm I'm still thinking I might mix two <laughs> with two into one. I'm not really sure how it's going to go though. So 
Um, yeah, I'll have to think about that. But I don't even know what to say what this channel is about, except that I know that this will go on my Doing Business As Yourself channel because this is part of that conversation. Being able to make video, just having the, the, the tool in your toolbox so that when you are called to or when you know that it's time, you don't have that whole learning curve to go over. You know, this that whole hurdle of figuring out the technology and figuring out how to do this and figuring out how to do that and then also hearing yourself on video and seeing yourself on video all that is just too much to tackle in a pinch it's a it's a it's a muscle that we have to build so that it's in our toolbox when and if we should want it to be uh, accessed okay so that's what we're doing this might be maybe this is the beginning of in fact I'll just put it at the beginning of the playlist that I have for um, overcoming video resistance. I already have a playlist of my older videos for that. So this is July 2000, uh, 2024. And um, there's some, I think there's one in there that's 10 or 11 years old already. So, and it's only like four or five videos. So it's not like a big commitment. It's just the things I know that get people over that hurdle of uh, from I'm never going to get on video like this to, oh uh, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Um, good luck with all of this. It's exciting. Hope to see you soon.